Hi, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. And this is a question or oh, an assumption I really need an answer to. Truth be told, um, the world has not been the same since the announcement of coronavirus. And a lot of people are going through a lot, including myself. And um, I want us to have a chat. Right now, currently in Ghana or Accra, we all know that we are under quarantine or partial lockdown. So you have all the time in the world right now to do everything you have ever wished to do that you couldn't do. So I'm taking my time to highlight few things you can do during this time of partial lockdown. If you're a busy person like I am, um, sitting at home and doing nothing, it's not interesting, it's boring. But uh, I am of a fact that, or I'm of a belief that nothing happened for nothing. So I believe right now, at this time, at this moment, and at this hour, God planted you on planet Earth because of such a time like this, all right? If everything was okay, I don't think I'll be sitting behind this camera or my phone to record this. So let's make use of the time. I've noticed that uh, we all deal with different, we deal with things differently. And uh, it's true, it's true. Um, sometimes when bad things happen, some people like myself, we are barely bothered. Uh, not because we are not afraid, but because our trust in God is bigger than every circumstances. And so we are focused on the I am, our source. And so we are not afraid. Let me put it that way. And there are people who become depressed because their mental capacity to handle issues like this is difficult for them to handle. Growing up, we heard of the 83 famine that happened in Ghana. And um, we haven't really experienced an outbreak like this. At least I am speaking for myself. So it is okay to take it the way you are speaking. But uh, now that you are home, um, I want to discuss with you a few, like five things, or probably more than you can do now. Yeah? If an entrepreneur like me, this is a time to reassess where your business is going. Um, we keep repeating the same thing. Personally, I don't like that. I always want to do something new. So, this is a time to sit back, assess it, and see how your comeback will be like. And um, re-strategize. And if you have to do something, sorry, I've been drinking a lot of water. Re-strategize. And do something else or replan and do something else or see where you can take your business this is a time if you are a young preacher like I am this is a time to hide in your closet and um, seek the face of God whereby you will have answers so that we don't repeat the mistakes of our forefathers and our fathers that have gone ahead of us and um, to hear from God, to build our capacity. This is not a time to probably come online, especially on Sundays, to try to let the public know that, yeah, you can preach. I believe this is a time to be in our closet and seek the face of God, all right? If you're also an intercessor like I am, there's a time to pray for our country. So you can't be bored every minute, every time. Pray for your country. 
pray for believers and um, you can be bored. There's a time that we need to be on the battlefield. We may not be nurses or doctors, but our prayer availeth much. Oh, the Bible says that the fetchous, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much or accomplish enough. So um, this is a time that we need to pray. And um, if you're a student, this is not the time to make all the videos and fool around a bit. This is the time to go over. No, you can't fool around because sometimes it can be stressing. It can be stressful. So, but don't use all your time fooling around. Um, read a book. Yeah? And um, as a Christian also, I'm sure you've wished to read the Bible entirely in a year. And you've never been able to do that. This is the time to do it. Yeah? This is the time to do that. And also, um, what else? It's time to learn a new trade. When you go on YouTube right now, there are so many things that you can learn. Yeah? So there's a time to learn something new. And take one day at a time. Look, listen to me. Don't take your life. Because the world is not coming to an end. At least not now. Alright? Encourage yourself in the Lord. Get a motivational book. I prefer the Bible. Because it looks like the Bible has an answer to everything I've ever asked for. So, I always fall on the Bible. Look, when the first day, today is the second day actually. On the first day, I told myself that, look, I'm going to re-strategize my business, research on new ways of improving upon services and all that. Then, I looked straight across my desk and my Bible was just sitting there. And I felt like it was telling me, get your ass on this seat and study me. So, I am now blending how to do both, yeah? Um, you never know what this, all this will become. Something great is coming out of this, I can assure you. Something great is coming out of this. Something great is coming out of this. I know some people are saying 2020 is a terrible year. Can I rephrase that for you or can I reprogram your mind? Before a daybreak, the night becomes darker. It doesn't matter what we are going through. Really doesn't matter. 2020 is going to be a fabulous year. You are going to have your breakthrough. You will get married. You are going to have that child. That business will pick up. Yeah? That deal will go through. That money will heal, hit your account. Yeah? And um, great things are going to happen. So... Don't give up on 2020. Believe me, 2020 is a full package. The ups and downs. Good thing, the downs have already taken place. It can only get better with Jesus, you know. So, yes, this is my small message to you. That get something to do, alright? Once in a while, you can come on social media, play around to release the stress. But don't waste all your time doing that. Are you getting that? Get something doing. Research. Go on YouTube. Yeah? There are so many things there that you can learn. Alright? That book that you've been wanting to write. I'm speaking to myself. This is the time to start. That call that you've been postponing. This is a time to call that fellow and check up on them. You notice how you've been yearning to lose weight. Please don't sit in the house, eat all the food in the fridge, and bloat, right? So instead of eating every minute, what about let's fast together? Let's do a Daniel fast, fruit, or eat once a day, or twice a day, minimize your intake. So that when this whole lockdown is over, you will step out in a total fabulosity. I don't know if that is a word, but right now, it is a word. You get what I mean, right? And uh, don't give up on life. God got you. God still reigns in the affairs of men. Alright? It is going to be better, and it will get better, and it will get better. Believe me. You will come back to this video and remind yourself that I told you that 2020 is a full package.
it is not over until it is over. Yeah? And you take care. Enjoy life. Don't be... Don't turn to an uh, alcohol to solve your issues. And uh, don't get addicted. Don't call that ex because you feel lonely. And um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Form a prayer partner online. I'm around, yeah. I'm looking for some prayer partners also. So let's hook up and uh, let's change our destiny. This is a good time. The whole world is on a standstill. Yeah? So this is a time to reprogram our life. Stay blessed and take care.